What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. I know it's a new look for me. This is me in SL. But uh, I'm gonna say this: that I'm gonna give credit to the a fan that gave me this idea again about that gave me the last that last video idea, the same one. Uh, he gave me an idea about catfishing, about people scamming people over the internet, and everybody knows about this football player's hoax, you know. Oh, my girlfriend, she got cancer, and she died, and then she came back to life, and all this, and this, and this, and this. And they're supposed to have the person behind the scam on Dr. Phil Thursday, so that's tomorrow. But, uh, I'm going to say this, man. I always told people all the time, man, watch what you say and do. You don't know who's on the other end of the computer screen. And I'm kind of glad that they came up with that show Catfish because one thing is to out people who out people who are uh, to out people who are doing this shit like for really man for real like you really don't know who's on the other end of the computer screen and all this and that and I'm glad that they really put it out there man because they caught a lot of people lying about who they are and uh, but for one thing is I say like this man people got to be careful who they talk to over the internet for real though for real though because you don't know who the hell's on the other side I've had a friend that I warned several times man that she don't know a certain person and she didn't want to listen so what happened was she kept talking to him like he ain't nothing. They talked about moving in. They talked about getting married and all this and this. And I kept warning her, you don't know this person well enough to do all that. That person could kill you in your sleep and you would never know because you fell for it. You got to be careful on who the hell you talk to because one thing is, people today can sit there and say I'm a billionaire and you wouldn't know it because you fell for that you fell for that bullshit you fell for that whole thing about oh I'm this and I got that I got this I got that you fell for it they paint a picture about paint a picture of a person that they are not you probably say how, how would you know well I know it's because I look at it I pay attention. Like I said, man, y'all remember the football player and the whole hoax about his girlfriend dying from cancer and she coming back to life and all that shit. And people, man, for real, y'all need to wake up, man, because it could happen to anybody. Anybody. And people fall for it every time, man. I thought, like, when the show Catfish came on, I would have thought people would have wised up people would have watched their ass people would have paid attention but they haven't they haven't wised up or paid attention because all they doing is continuing with this shit and it's fucked up man that people continue to fall for that whole I'm this I'm that I'm this I'm that whole scenario there's people that got caught up in something that they don't know nothing about and then after they get caught up what happens they get fucked over and then they go crying and all this and that I said if I cause one thing is I always tell people what you're saying dude if I if y'all saw any of my videos and y'all heard me say this that ought to tell you something that ought to tell you that hey I'm not playing Every day this goes on, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year. And people still continue to do this and they act like what I say is bullshit. If I'm telling you if you if I'm telling you that your neighbor's a pedophile murderer and you let him babysit your child, 
who fault is that? It can't be mine because I just told you this guy was a pedophile murderer. I told you he was a pedophile murderer and you didn't listen? What does that tell you? You just got your own child killed. You just had to you just had to think think I'm full of shit. But it's true though, ladies and gentlemen, it's true because every day somebody's getting fooled. Scam artists, uh catfish and anything. Because one thing is whatever you do, you gotta be careful. You gotta be very careful because if that football player can get get stuck caught up in a catfish scam, you can too. Doesn't doesn't matter. You say, "Oh, I talked to him for years." There, there was an episode of Catfish where a girl was talking to this guy for two years, two years, and found out that she that the guy was the bit a bitch that she did not like. So what happened? She got catfished for two years. He probably said, Catfish? I know, man. When I thought about it, I was like, for real, you're going to name a movie and a show Catfish? You could have called it something else. But it is what it is, man. Every day is the same deal. Every day is the same ordeal. Somebody getting caught up in something they don't need to be in. Then they sit up on, then they go up on TV, all these damn daytime TV shows. Look, man, you've been warned several times. The show should have gave it away and everything. The show should have gave it away about the whole catfishing deal. But y'all still continue on to do this whole, oh, I love this person, but you don't never, you never met this person. These are the steps to, to tell you that you, if, if you never met somebody, if the person never got on cam with you, Skype or Uber or MSN or Yahoo, you getting caught up in a catfish. If the person sent just send pictures of themselves to you, you're getting caught up in the catfish because you don't know if that's their true picture. Because every day, man, people fall for that, and then they. Like I said, they go on these daylight talk shows, daytime talk shows, I mean, crying and bitching. Oh, I got catfished. Uh, motherfucker, I just don't, like, for real. If I'm giving you the materials to use to not get caught up in a catfish, don't you think you should use them before you end up on Dr. Phil saying, yes, that was catfish. Uh, I didn't know who he would like this like over the episodes there's been several times where people got catfished and found out it was the same sex and the person that goes on they show oh I wanted to figure out if they are heterosexuals are heterosexuals and they's like oh wow I never knew well you I knew like I didn't know that it was going to happen but I knew something was going to pop out oh it's going to be same sex okay these people about to get boo boo the food become boo boo food boo boo the food because they never paid attention I'm telling you man people need to realize man if there's a show out there called Catfish don't you need to think that you need to cut off all contact to the person that you're trying to shack up with because one thing is like I said you don't know who they are you don't know who they are you don't know nothing about them that you never seen if you've never seen them on cam you know they're gonna lie to you about their age where they were all this and that cause I cause one thing it's gonna happen again with people where they don't they're not paying attention they're sitting up there falling in love and they're gonna be another football hoax football player hoax and you gonna get all mad oh I feel so I feel so hurt I feel so Oh, I'm so upset. Like, didn't you, didn't you just pay attention to the football player when he got the wool put over his eyes? Did you pay attention to that show, Catfish? For real, there are signs out there telling you, watch your ass. 
but the people continue on. I know people are going to continue on trying to shackle with somebody over the internet. And I know I'm going to get bitched out about it. Oh, about, I know I'm not going to get bitched out because there will be some people, I met my wife, I met my husband over the internet. That was years ago. This is today. This is not two, This is not 2001 or 2005. This is 2013, man. Shit is getting serious. It's all about protecting yourself. Because like I say, you never know who's on the other side. You never know because, like I said, it's getting more dangerous because of what's going on. And people, and people should wake up and realize, man, that this is no game. This is all real. This is no joke. Because every day, man, somebody's going to get hurt because of something. And then I, then you're going to sit up here and get all mad and get all upset because the person you thought that you knew that you ain't seen on cam is somebody else. Because, man, you don't... Because one thing is they can use a voice more for... They can... Put a, show you a fake picture they can sit there and do all these things but you never know because you sat there and gave in to temptation thinking that the person you love is somebody you love somebody you love yeah something like that but, but it's like this though people need to wise up and realize man what's really going on out there in the world and they really don't because they say they're in love with who you don't know that person from the man in the moon. And you're going to love somebody that you don't know. You're going to love somebody that you don't know that's never been on camera, that's really never told the truth to you. You're going to be another victim of this catfish ordeal. For real, I'm serious, man. I know people going to say, oh, you talk a lot, gang. You got like you know this. Uh, have you ever watched the show Catfish? Have you ever saw any of my videos in the past? I told people, watch your ass on here. But I'm saying, watch yourself, people. Because one thing is, if it can happen to the football player and the guy that hosts Catfish, it can happen to anyone. Anyone. And to sit up here looking, sitting up here, people are going to look at me like I'm lying to everybody, which I'm not. It's just, it's just shit that people need to be careful about. Doesn't matter if, like I said, it doesn't matter how long you've known the person. It's about, do you really know that person? That's all that is. It's just like that. Do you really know this person? There's going to be a lot of... I know I'm going to get a lot of ridicule about this. You don't know shit, Afro. You don't know shit. Like, motherfucker, you don't know shit. You don't know shit, man. Because, like I said, man. People pretend to be somebody else over at the computer screen. I'm going to tell you this. I have a buddy of mine on Second Life. This is my... Like I said, this is a picture of me on Second Life. And, uh... He was fooled. He thought he was in love with a girl. He he thought he was in love with a girl. That he thought he was she was eighteen. Thought she was black too. And then what she told him is that she was a uh, young black, an uh, eighteen on black girl with two jobs, had a miscarriage, and hasn't spoken to her family in years. And he believed in that. He believed the hype that she was putting out. And he thought he was he was in love. They talked for a few months. The girl had him sprung like a spring. Not knowing that she's been lying to him the whole time. He did not know 
that if she was a 15 year old Asian girl that lives with her father and sibling her mother died from cancer the guy been lied to and, and I felt so bad for him that he did that and I felt so bad for him because he just got catfished in a way but he didn't go to the TV network oh I've been catfished dude I've been catfished no he sucked it up and just did what he did. He blocked her and all this and that. He didn't want to have nothing to do with it. But I feel bad for the guy because he's been lied to. The girl that was playing this awful joke could have had this man thrown in jail. Because she's underage and he's overage. See, even young people do it. Y'all probably going to say, well, he was a damn fool. How he's supposed to know? How he's supposed to know how old she is and something like that because you know people ain't gonna show their ID. People ain't gonna sit up there. People ain't gonna sh sit up there and show anything. They're not gonna. They're not gonna sit there and show anything. They're not gonna sit up there. Oh, this is my ID. They're not gonna show ID. They're gonna show proof who they are. They're gonna lie. And the and. I, like I said, I felt I felt so bad for this guy because he got lied to. He felt hard for this girl, and this girl lied to him, and I was so fucked up, mad about it. I felt bad. And I still question it every time. I I like I ran into him today on SL Second Life SL, and uh. And he met him and talked, and he said, you talked to Hunger? I said, no. I asked him, I said, what about you? I said, hell no. She got me blocked. And to sit there, I was so, I, and when we talked, when I talked to this guy, I still feel sorry for this man. Because he got caught up in a lie that he did not need to be in. Now, that's bad business. That is so bad business where this dude had to go went through hell and back because and well you could probably say not not hell and back but he got fooled to a point where he can he lost trust in people like I always had trust issues but but the story's not about me it's about a friend I know you're gonna say oh it's about you no it's not it's not me because one thing is. I'm I'm cautious about my shit. But like I said, man, this guy didn't have to go through all this shit. He really didn't, man, because like I said, man, it can happen to anyone out there in the world. Like I said, you got to question these people. You got to have them questions in the back of your mind. Is this person real? Is this person telling the truth? Is this person saying who they, saying who they are? question this shit like is this person really playing me for boo boo the fool you gotta question this shit to a point where that you end up asking are you playing me for a fool then and that's how it should be man you gotta question these things because if you don't man you gonna land yourself in some hot water that you can't get out of that's all I'm saying And I'm saying like this, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all in the morning, y'all. Be fucking precautious. Be careful. Because you, cause you don't know who the fuck it is on the other side of the computer screen. I know y'all sound like a broken record, but it's true. If this football player can go through all that shit, And made to look like boo boo the fucking fool. Don't you think that you need to be careful? Don't you think you need to be more careful? I know I would. I know I would. But people, like, I know people ain't gonna listen to me. But I'm telling the truth. 
I know people ain't gonna pay no fucking attention to me because they want to do what they want to do. I can't be. I'm not your parent, but I'm trying to warn you of something. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And it's and, it's, and like I said, man, people. I, it's just gotta people gotta be careful about these about this shit because one thing is if you don't if you don't you're gonna end up just like that football player made a fucking fool out of you're gonna say oh it's just the internet yeah it might be just the internet but look how many people died like look how many people got scammed out of money look how many people got fooled and got locked up because of this catfish shit not, well, I don't know if how many people got locked up because of shit, but look at the football player that got caught up in this shit. Ain't nobody want to pick him now. He could have been picked up by the NFL, but nobody wants to pick him up because he got food. I don't think any, the NFL want to pick him up, but you see what I'm saying? But like I said, be cautious about what's going on around you on the internet. And I, and I know that I know it's just the internet but man you gotta be cautious man if it ain't the, if it ain't the teens committing suicide because of cyberbullying and bullying it's somebody getting catfished and I look at this man I look at these stories man like this is a football player and the show catfish. Now look at these people. And it's sitting in my mind, so I gotta be fucking cautious. I gotta be fucking cautious. Because one thing is, that was a cigarette outlet, not a blunt. But, uh, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I was saying that you gotta be precautious about what's really going on because. Too many people get scammed out so quick. Every minute, somebody's getting scammed. Every second, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year. The people are getting scammed. You might say, well, it's just life. I know it's just life. But it's like, yes, it's, it might be just life. But it's your life you got to be cautious about. Because. And the reason why I'm saying this is because. I've seen like I did something. I did video back in the day about being precautious about over the internet. Who you meet. And one of my friends. She don't want She don't want to talk to me no more. Because I said this. I told. I. Uh, I said something about it. I was like, back like it was late two a few years ago where I said, if you meet somebody over the internet, you better get to know them before you start saying I'm gonna move in with you. And the friend got mad at me because I was talk, I was kind of bashing a little bit about shacking up with somebody over the internet. She said, oh well, me and my husband been together. We talked for two years. And she stopped, and she quit being my friend because I warned you. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna get mad at me? These squad knows the special victims unit. These are their stories. I'm sorry, but, but <laughs> she got mad at me because I was talking about it. And I was trying to tell her, I say, good for you that you got married because you know your husband for a long time. But it's 2000, I, was trying to, I told her it was such and such year. I said, times have changed. It's not going to be the same. But I still got frowned upon and she quit being my friend because I said something that was true. I wasn't going to lie to nobody. I wasn't going to give in to that whole, oh, good, um, I think everybody should shack up over there. I wasn't going to do that. 
because I knew deep down deep down if I knew deep down that it was not right it was not right it was shit that people didn't need to do because hey man you don't know the person from the man of, from the man in the moon and people people please man be careful people be careful man cause you know what life is too short to get hung up on somebody that you don't know It's, you're probably going to ask, oh, uh, have you ever been through it? Well, why should, well, one thing is, I don't need to put my personal business, like, put something like this up, but I have, now, I haven't been catfished, but I've met a lot of people like that, and instead of me giving into temptation and all like that, man, I did the smartest thing. Now, like I said, man, it's just people need to be careful nowadays because one thing is you don't know who the fuck you're talking to over there and there. I feel bad for the people that who got tricked, who got scammed, who got screwed over. Because like I said, life is too short. Life is too short. And, uh, I feel like I feel bad for the people who went through this. I feel bad who went through this because I'm, I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna say this. I could give props to one set, set of people, set of people that's on the internet that does a good job, and that's anonymous. I'm gonna give props to them because they found Amanda Tosh Killer, not Amanda Tosh Killer, but the person that had her pictures. I give them props. One thing is, I think the government should let anonymous be the internet police. Just go and let them be the internet police because one thing is, they can seek out things quicker than the government can. But this has been Afro Joe Ten like T I is again. I hope y'all can come check. I hope y'all come chill with me on Second Life and have fun.